the way clans like PAE, I think mobile blocksters, those are two really good examples of clans that have been like around a long time, but they get uh, very inflated <coughs> scores in vitality because, uh, I don't know, just for existing, right? I don't think that's how vitality should be weighed. Uh, I think a clan like TRA, on the other hand, is a good example of a group that has been around a while. It is also doing a lot of good things right. Um, actually, in the experimental version of the vitality score that we did for last month, TRA's rating ended up being the same, which is okay because all of its other categories were good. But being alive is considered a necessary but insufficient burden. In other words, if you exist for a while, that's fine, but you won't have a good vitality score just for existing. It's also not a reward for being alive. Uh, how time is incorporated is through a time multiplier, which I'll get to. But we're defining vitality here as a clan's ability to maintain continued success. This is in two parts, okay? First, you have to be successful in the first place. Clans who are not doing well right now will have shit vitality ratings. Um, I don't know, like a clan like ROA or like Delta have like for the past few months not been as active, right? And their vitality ratings will suffer as a uh, result because their ability to maintain continued success, they've demonstrated some ability to do that over the long term, but as of the present, as of the release of whatever tier list there is, they're not really successful. So it's hard for them to say that you can maintain continued success. But the other part of it is sustainment. And we covered this through the weighted average I'll go through later. So um, the first thing we do, each of these points is from one to 10. Uh, in each category, skill, activity, community, vitality, uh, structure, we put it through this formula. It's like, uh, ignore the first part. I just want you to look at a few things. Uh, if you have a score of five in skill, that will like approximately standardize or normalize whatever, that will turn into a four. If you have a 10, that will turn into a 10. But the way this is uh, constructed, first half from zero to five, like we're gonna call this like the vitality adjusted scores of each category, okay? Uh, your scores from zero to five will be shit. You see, if you have a four, you only get a two, right? So that's obviously not very good. Um, but the other half of this, and the reason this is broken up into two parts is because I wanted the second half to have a less uh, steep growth. So this is a little more, like it's a little more resembling a straight line. So like six is approximately six, seven is like eight, nine. And you see there's diminishing returns from here. In other words, like there's not really that much distinction between like a seven and eight or an eight and a nine, really a nine and a 10 in terms of like, how it affects a group's vitality, right? It's pretty much as long as you're above a certain bar, you're generally in the ballpark. So um, that's that. From each score, like you'll put activity, skill, structure, community development, right? You'll put it through that formula. And then you have the vitality adjusted scores, okay? From there, we conduct a weighted average. Now, uh, I thought about this a lot, and part of the reasons for these weightings is because of this way that we uh, use some of these things. So um, the vitality score will always only be as good as its inputs, right? We use the five inputs of the categories plus time, right? So inevitably the vitality score will have like more variability because it's taking in all these different factors, right? But um, some things to keep in mind, I docked skill pretty low. IMO, it's not that important for a successful clan, nor do I think that skill is a necessity for a clan to have continued success. Um, TRA is like a really good example of this. Like, I, I hesitate to bring up like TNI and IRF and USAF because they follow different models of being clans. And so those are obviously somewhat of an exception. But I think even in terms of like groups that have lasted a long time, they don't last because they're skilled. I would argue that they last like in spite of it. Like TRAE was like a huge meme for like ever, right? 
Um, you'll see development is also weighted kind of low. That's because our development, the way development is scored right now is that it doesn't view future output. So we're only looking at bases and like recruitment centers and like role play facilities for development, right? And we're not looking at what a clan will put out. We're just looking at a clan, what a clan has put out. Uh, I think a good example of a clan that demonstrates the necessity of weighting development lower is Witch. Um, like a clan like Witch, they don't really have that many competent developers. Like their development team is not at a level where they would be able to like recreate waste, but they've been like riding on that for the past couple of years. So obviously it's like, so I, I would say it's about equally important in terms of the baseline as far as like having success now, but in terms of the way we weight it, it's not that important for future success. And you'll see activity structure and community are all about the same. Um, activity is important because it's really about having like a member base that actively comes to events. Structure is obviously important in terms of the officer core, what people we have supporting it, and you have community too, which is like essentially the backbone of the group. So, uh, that's the weighted average. Um, one more thing happens then. Uh, ignore this. This is basically a multiplier, right? So these, the bottom of this is days alive. The top of this is the multiplier. This is at 180 days or about six months. You will have a multiplier of 0 0.9. At about a year, you will have, or this is 365 days, you will have a multiplier about 1.1. And an entirely new clan on the tier list will have a 0 0.7. Uh, in terms of a multiplier. So what happens is that after the weighted average uh, is constructed, you multiply it by whatever multiplier is given based on how long you've been alive. There is little to no return after you reach like here, so like nine months. So once you're like past that nine month territory, there's really little gain. And the top level multiplier here is, um, I would say, not that significant. At most, it will maybe raise your clan's score by like one point or like maybe two points. I don't think even two points, right? <laughs> so, the, the methodology here is that we want to, I don't want to use the word punish because it's not really punishing small clans. It's just the reality that uh, like newer clans, not small. Newer clans have not had the history of demonstrating success, nor have they had the history of demonstrating longevity in the first place. So obviously clans that are newer will get lower scores, but uh, as time goes on, um, scores will adjust such that it will like, like if your clan lasts like five to six months, it, this will, uh, basically not affect your score. Okay, so is that it? What the fuck? That's it. Okay, well, let's look at how these... Go back to the old formula, the other formula? No, the, the, let, let, let me, so the reason why we're not using the old formula, uh, one, this multiplier thing, so, uh... I, I meant, I meant just like the slide with the other formula, not this one. Oh, the initial formula? Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't understand why you. <laughs> why did you use like E? Um, oh wait, wait, that's 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 a okay. That's the time. Yeah, this is okay. so the the this is basically a logistic function. Um, the second half is like it's I... like a fucking it's really scuffed. <laughs> this is like incredibly scuffed. What I did right here. Hey, dude, how long did it take you to make this? Um, like a couple hours. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, think about this. This is this is a couple oh hours for every vitality rubric ever. Listen, listen. I've seen some sad things. Like two days ago, two days ago, Stabby Stabby wrote a whole essay about like do, using recon at Maersk, but like this is this is a new. This is a new uh this is a first. A new... Yeah, this not, is a first. No, you have not seen the documents I've written for TNI. Oh, I wrote like no, an eight oh It's the fact that you're present lecturing us like a college professor, man. Well, I I'm I'm trying to go like this is really complicated, so I'm just trying to